Welcome to a series of videos or tutorial videos that we're going to call Liquid Lifting. It's basically a stretching guide aimed at lifters but also athletes. What we're trying to do with this content is show you key stretches or key mobility tools that you can use to achieve the lifts that you might want to achieve in weightlifting, powerlifting or just sports training in general and what muscle groups are important to target and what their relevance is to each movement pattern. Today we're going to be looking at the couch stretch and it's act uh, and that's a stretch for psoas major. So we'll begin just a little um, brief overview of what the psoas major is. Here's a diagram of the psoas on the left hand side. As you can see it inserts into the base of the hip and into about L4 or the lumbar spine. It's primarily a hip flexor, a hip flexor, uh, but it's also involved in external rotation of the hip. Tightness in the psoas can result in lower back pain, and having a good range of the psoas is key to correct movement in both squatting, deadlifting, snatching, cleaning jerks, sprinting, jumping, and cutting. So it's a really important muscle group. What we're going to look at here is the call the couch stretch. To begin, you need a bench, a couch, or a bed. You go into it like you're going to do a split squat, pinning up your ankle on the bench, and then from there, put your knee on the floor. And then from that position, you're just going to sit like I am there. Key is to not hyperextend the lower back, just remain neutral. If you want to increase the stretch at any time, you can squeeze your bum and just drift forward with the hips. What I'm going to do now is show a bit more of an advanced version. From here, you just reach up to the sky with your hands and remember not to hyperextend at the lower back. Also, to increase the stretch, you can twist against your um, knee, which causes torsion of the spine, which will increase the stretch on the muscle. It's a reasonably difficult muscle group to get into, but it's one that if you have tight hip flexors, you'll definitely notice the difference once you start stretching them out probably recommend you hold this sort of stretch for 45 to 90 seconds two to three times either before or after a workout it's probably best to do this this stretch two to three times a day as well just to really open up the hip flexor and um, that concludes this flexible tutorial any questions comments send them to the speed power performance at gmail.com i've been mark signing off